Hey, sis, did you read that article that certain animals can detect when the elderly will soon pass away? Mr. Whiskers, get off Grandma! With you, Plantum, and extra strength, you, Plantum, take the guesswork away from Father Time and Mr. Whiskers. You Plantum, You Plantum PM, and Delusional were developed by the Final Lilies Corporation. Next on the History Network, the Roadkill Recipe Ramblers. And next week, tune in to the season finale, all here on the History Network. We're the Roadkill Recipe Ramblers, and we'll ramble to your roadkill. Scoop it up and peel it off and toss it in a pot. Add a dash of this and that, heat it till it's heated, serve it till it's heated, then head on the road again. Hey Jim Bob, the GPS says there's a stop in 10 miles. Garden food service? I don't want to stop there. Last time I went in that place, I asked for a jar of pickles. Took me 10 months to finish all of them. 10 months don't sound like you with pickles, Jim Bob. Yeah, but they were buttered dill slices. Next time I went down to the Alcoa for pickles, I got a buttered dill. <laughs> Good and Jim Bob, but not GFS. It's GPS. A vitamin place? That's GNC. And say what? Oh, Jim Bob. Jim Bob and Earlene stop at a truck stop just outside Joplin, Missouri. While you're gassing up the truck, is there anything you need me to do? You can take an obituary of all the varmints we've picked up since we come in from Kansas City. Did you mean inventory, Jim Bob? Sure, what did I say? Oh, Jim Bob, you were giving these varmints an obituary. Well, that's half stupid. But according to your cousin Thermarmody, mm -hmm. it's the time of year when the roadkill count starts a-clicking. Are you gonna bring that up again, Jim Bob? Every spring and every fall, all outdoor critters can't handle the change in the weather, so they run out to kill themselves in traffic and the like, said Thermarmody. Oh, Jim Bob, let her be. You know she's one brick shy of a load. In her britches. Never did figure out how them critters committed suicide back then with them covered wagons. Stuck their head in them spoke wheels, I imagine. Jim Bob, would you stop making fun of my second cousin? Well, she'd be my third cousin if Merlin didn't pick up that power line. There it is, Jim Bob. The Golden Jewel Truck Stop. Home of Chester's Chicken to Go. Jim Bob, we have a whole obituary of varmints in the back of the RV. Oh, right. Let's check them out. Earlene opens the cooler door in the Airstream to reveal the perfectly organized organs of the dead varmints they've picked up since the state line. Two possums. Chick. Three raccoons. Yum, yum. Yum. Either a deer or a dog. Those semi-hits can be confusing. A beaver, ten squirrels, and a box turtle. Turtle on the half shell! Turtle, turtle power! We're set till Thanksgiving! Unless any of your kin come around. As fate would have it, Jim Bob and Earlene's third cousins, Rory and Dora Patel, cross paths with them at that very truck stop. I'm Jim Bob and Ernie. Rory, you quit smoking? No, why? You'll never get him off those cancer sticks. Give me a lighter, Rory. Can you blow smoke rings through your blowhole? Jim Bob! Well, can you blow smoke rings through your blowhole? Y'all can't park this Airstream here. Casting a large dark shadow on the door of the Airstream was Rory and Dora's 470 pound baby boy Parme. Why Parme, where have you been hiding? Must have been a good place because you're hard to miss. I've lost a whole 15 pounds. You can see it. I can only count two rolls on your wrist. Jim Bob, be nice to Parme. Heck, you can almost see the outline of your ankles. I apologize for Jim Bob Parme. 
We think the exhaust has been leaking in the truck. Jim Bob gets a bit dizzy. Life's well, okay, Cousin Early. Jim Bob's always been a wonderful and caring cousin, looking out for me all these years. <sighs> well, thank you, Parme. Sounds like you need to borrow some money again. <sighs> well, now that you mention it. Bang's closed. Who wants to help me empty the septic? Well, that would make me throw up. And now you know why the bank is closed. Oh, Jim Bob, give Parme a few bucks. How much do you need, Parmy? My college loan officer found me, says I can put down three or four grand. Wait, you went to school? Jim Bob, Parmy's always been a good learner. How did he fit in one of them school desks? They have classes on the computer. Why don't you come inside the truck stop? Erlene and I have to scratch off our 401k. <sighs> Oh, Cousin Erlene and Jim Bob, gambling is a sin. <laughs> Sounds gluttony, you fat ass. Rory and Dora and their baby boy squealed out of that truck stop, less than happy with their coincidental family reunion at the Golden Jewel, home of Chester's Chicken. Support the rabbit. Erlene spent a better part of half an hour shopping at the Golden Jewel truck stop. And as she turned down the last aisle, she ran into a wet but happy Jim Bob. Jim Bob, where on earth have you been? Taking a fine and wonderful shower at the Golden Jewel truck stop. The shower spray lasts five minutes, but me and all my new trucker buddy friends have an experience that lasts a lifetime. Jim Bob, you did shower alone. You know I can't wash my own back. Come on, Jim Bob, let's load all our assorted shit and sundries and hit the road. So Jim Bob and Erlene Jim wave Bob, goodbye Bob. to the Golden Jewel Truck Stop. Where to next, Jim Bob? We're off to our season finale, Erlene. It's a special episode dedicated to all of our family and friends. Be sure to tune in, won't you? Why is my hair so stiff? So tune in next week to a heartbreaking episode of News of Cancer and Concern on a new rerun of Home Improvement. And after that, get your guffaw with the Roadkill Recipe Ramblers. All on the History Network.